Hi everybody. If you love sushi and sashimi as much as I do, you're probably wondering two things. How do I buy fresh sushi quality fish? And once I buy it, how do I know it's fresh? Well, I'm here to answer those questions for you and get you rolling on your way to making fresh sashimi at home. Now, sushi grade is a relative term, okay, and it only really means two things. Number one is that the fish is safe to eat if you eat it raw, and number two is that the fish is high enough quality so that when you eat it, it tastes good. As far as I know, in North America, there is no official sushi grading system. Unless you yourself are a sushi chef or a commercial fisherman, I always recommend that you use frozen fish for sushi and sashimi. Anytime you eat raw fish, there's a very small possibility that that fish could have parasites in it. And while you figure most of them could be visible to the naked eye, some may not be. So by using commercially frozen fish, you're ensuring that any parasites that by chance might be in there are dead. So how cold does fish have to be in order for the parasites to die? Well, the guidelines state that you have to freeze fish at minus 35 degrees Fahrenheit and keep it at that temperature for at least 15 hours. Okay, that'll ensure that any parasites that are in that fish are dead. Keep in mind that top quality tuna suppliers super freeze tuna. Okay, super freezing means they bring it down to a temperature of minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, this is done right on the boat when they catch the tuna. And what this does is it basically locks in the freshness of the tuna and it can actually stay that way for up to two years. Most people can't even taste the difference between tuna that's been caught an hour ago or super frozen tuna that was thawed out an hour ago. The process is really that good. Now keep in mind that your average freezer at home can't even come close to hitting minus 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Some freezers just barely come close to hitting zero degrees Fahrenheit. However, commercial freezers definitely can. So if you buy fish that is IQF, or individually quick frozen, you know that it's been blasted in a commercial freezer and it's definitely hit those temperatures. The fish is safe to eat, the quality is still really good, and you're good to go. Another thing that you're looking for when you're buying frozen fish is that it has absolutely no preservatives and no additives. Okay, a lot of times you look at the ingredients and you'll see things like tripolyphosphate, which is a preservative uh, makes the quality of the fish and the texture really bad, uh, especially for sushi or sashimi. You definitely don't want to use fish that has had tripolyphosphate or really anything else added to it. So look at the ingredients on the package. It should literally just say ingredients and then whatever fish it is. It shouldn't have anything else. Sometimes for Atlantic salmon, for example, it may be Atlantic salmon and a little bit of salt. And that's okay, but you don't want to go beyond that. Okay, it should be just frozen fish. So now you have your fresh piece of fish, in this case tuna, and you either thawed it out in the fridge overnight or you ran it under some cold water and you're ready to go. But how do you know it's fresh? Well, unfortunately the color of the fish is not really going to tell you anything. I mean here we have a little bit of I would say brownish tuna and we've all been to the seafood store and seen that beautiful piece of bright cherry red or bright pink piece of tuna. Well, the only difference between the two is that the one at the seafood store that's all nicely colored is actually artificially colored. You see, they took it and they put it in a chamber of carbon monoxide and the carbon monoxide actually changed the color of the fish. So, if that piece was completely rotten, it would still look beautiful. All right, so that's why you can't go by color. Conversely, if you look at this, you can say, oh, that's a that's not bright pink red, this is kind of brown, that must be bad. Absolutely not. It's not an indication of whether the fish is fresh or not. Tuna can be all shades of colors and salmon can actually come in all sorts of shades of orange. What will tell you if fish is fresh really is just your nose. I mean, you just smell it. If it smells good, it's good to go. If it smells bad, I don't care how much you paid for it, it doesn't matter what the expiration date says, it doesn't matter how good it looks. If it smells bad, it's simply not sushi grade fish, you shouldn't eat it. In fact, if it smells bad, you probably shouldn't even cook it and eat it, okay? It's just not edible fish. So your nose was put on your face to tell you whether or not things are good to eat or not good to eat.
Now that you know how to buy fresh frozen fish, you can have delicious sushi and sashimi at home anytime you want. This is how I do it. A little bit of wasabi. Okay. A little bit of soy sauce. And there you go. Sashimi. That's all you need. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, please visit foodchaintv.com. And if you are on YouTube, please do not forget to subscribe. Your subscriptions help me make more videos. Until next time, happy sashimi to you. Now remember, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to press that subscribe button up there. Not only will it make me feel all warm and fuzzy, it'll help me make more sushi and more videos just for you. And hey, thanks for watching.